Today's video is all about how to create a screen-free schedule for your kids if you're a single parent working from home. This video was requested by one of our viewers. Now, if you are also a viewer and you have a specific parenting question you'd like answered, you can leave it under the Q&A post in the post section of this channel. I am Dr. Tanisha Burke, your positive parenting coach. Welcome to our channel where we discuss the latest research and best practices in parenting, child development and supporting the family. As the studies have shown and we have also covered in previous videos, excess use of tablets and phones can have adverse effects on children's emotional intelligence and communication skills. For parents who work from home, juggling professional responsibilities with parenting can be quite a challenge. However, with thoughtful planning and a bit of flexibility, you can still provide your child with engaging screen-free environment while managing your work commitments. In the rest of this video, we will share with you some strategies that can help you to strike a balance. So as usual, pause this video, get a pen and paper and get ready to make some notes. The first tip we have to ensure that you can create a screen-free environment for your children while you're working is to establish a routine. Children thrive on routines, so establish a consistent daily schedule. And I know this can be hard for a lot of parents who prefer to work spontaneously, but I guarantee you this is the most important tip I will share with you today. When you have a schedule, you significantly reduce your stress level tantrums, misbehavior, and all of that with your children. So make sure you set specific times for meals, naps, and dedicated working hours. Having a predictable routine helps your kids to know what to expect, and it also helps to make transitions a lot smoother. Our next tip is to create time blocking. Use time blocking to segment your day into focused work intervals and dedicated family time. During work hours, create a structured environment for your child with independent activities. Allocate specific slots for interactive and engaging screen-free activities during breaks or when your work task allows. Our third tip for screen-free environment while you work is to have collaborative activities. Include your child in age-appropriate activities that align with your work task. So for example, if you are working on a computer, set up a mini workstation next to you where your child can engage in drawing, coloring, or other quiet activities while you work. Our fourth tip is quality over quantity. Remember that the quality of time spent with your child matters more than the quantity. Even short bursts of focused play can have a positive impact on their development and also their moods and attitudes. Use breaks or short pauses during work to interact with your child, read a quick story, or engage in a brief game. And when you do this, parents, you're less likely to experience a lot of interruptions. When your children are interrupting you, it's usually because they feel a sense of disconnection and they want some form of attention with you. If you can, in these intervals, short intervals, give them attention, read a book, do something fun with them, and keep them engaged in these small intervals, you're more likely to go through your work without much interruption from them. I know as single parents, this one can be difficult, but if it's possible, try to alternate with caregivers. So if possible, you can coordinate with other family members or people in your social network, or even if you're co-parenting, you can work with the other parent to share caregiving responsibilities. Alternating who spends dedicated time with your child while the other person works can help balance both your professional and parenting commitments. The next tip is to have a flexible work hours. So if your job allows it, consider adjusting your work hours to better accommodate your child's schedule. This might mean working early in the morning or later in the evening when your child is napping or asleep. Our seventh tip is to have theme-based activities. And these are de dedicating certain days for specific themes based on activities. For example, you could have an art day, 
an outdoor adventure game, or a science experiment day. Planning these activities well in advance can make it easier to manage your work schedule around them. Our next tip is to make sure you utilize nap times effectively. If your child still takes naps, so that would be for the toddlers, use this time to focus on important work tasks or engage in more concentrated work. This way, you can maximize your productivity during those quieter periods. Our next tip to ensure you have a screen-free environment while you're working is to create understanding around communication and boundaries and what you need to do is communicate your work schedule to your child in a way that they can understand you can use visual aids like pictures or simple clocks to show when you'll be working and when you'll be available for playtime so for example your child might want to be to interact with you you can use the timer on your phone or you can simply buy one of those timers we normally use in kitchen for baking and other activities. You can set it for 15 minutes and you can say to your child, at the end of 15 minutes when this clock goes off, this timer goes off, we can have any fun that you want to engage in, whether it's reading or playing. What you're teaching your child is that there is a dedicated time for you to work. They can sit quietly and wait until you're finished, or they can find something to entertain themselves while they wait. But it's important that you create this boundary and teach this boundary to your child. Especially with small children, they might need to see the phone or the timer going down, because remember, they are very young and they, the concept of time is very abstract to them and it might seem like a very long time for them to wait. But when they see the thing getting smaller and smaller and smaller, they'll have an idea like, oh, it's almost time for me to play and interact with my mom or dad. Our next tip is about flexibility and self-care. Remember that flexibility is key. Some days may go smoothly while others may present challenges. Be kind to yourself and recognize that achieving a perfect balance every day might not always be feasible. Take breaks for your own well-being and recharge to maintain your focus. Our final tip for creating a screen-free environment for your kids while you work is to encourage unstructured play. Children should have time to play and be bored. Parents, it's really important to allow your children to be bored sometimes. This allows them to use their imagination and creativity, which is important for their development. Provide them with toys and materials that encourage open-ended play, such as blocks, dolls, or art supplies. By incorporating these strategies into your daily routine, you can create a balanced environment that promotes both your child's development and your work responsibilities. With patience and adaptability, you'll find ways to engage your child in screen-free activities while effectively managing your work from home. If you found this video informative and you haven't subscribed as yet, please hit the subscribe button to our channel to be alerted of upcoming positive parenting content. Thank you so much for joining us and goodbye for now.